Week 17, Piss and Cock Show. Are you so, ready for it? I got to tell you what I was going to do at some point. Okay, go I, ahead. I was, told, I was told that I couldn't do it, though. Why? I reached out to a couple friends and said, do you think this would be okay? And every single one of them went like this. They went, mm. I was going to bring my pistol, and I was going to put it to your head and say, surprise, motherfucker. Want to know what's so fucking perfect about that? No. Yes. I mean, oh, man. Boom! Yes! <laughs> Nailed him! What, is what was that about a gun? <laughs> I'm like, gangster, gangster! <laughs> fucking exploded all over his chest! What is that? It's a squirt gun. Water Shooter Super Series. Pretty nice. Thank you. See, so I'm one step ahead of you with all of your ideas. Air horn? That's my shit. But I was gonna put a real gun to your head. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up, man. Okay. It wasn't gonna be loaded. Like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's, uh... That'd be a different show. They I got were not... a fun squirt gun that I got at Party City. That was nice. You got one that you need to wait three days for and have a record yeah, check the, on. The... You were gonna bring... Fuck, man. That's what it's Jesus called. Jesus Christ. That's the name of just... the... You were gonna pull out a fucking gun? Yeah. I, I thought oh. about it. The more I think about that, the more I'd be like, too far! Exactly. Too far! Everyone, I, everyone I asked was like, I could see where it might be funny, but at this... No. Holy shit, is that a real gun? Yeah, it is. Cold steel against your temple. That's what I was going for. I probably would have really liked it and been like, Hey, I Hey, I <laughs> I got such a big boner right now. Okay. You're a fucking fear boner. Oh, yeah. I fear. It's the biggest boner I ever have. I need to do this on time. I need to tell Kara about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. You couldn't bring a gun to a gun, gun fight. There it is. I have one of those. Uh, just one though. It's your masturbation arm. What? Fucking strong. The other one, not oh. so much. You kind of look like the guy in Lady in the Water. It's actually my favorite Shyamalan Ding Dong film that he's ever made. Surprise yeah. ending. What? Yeah, I know. It's Weird. yeah. So be ready for that. All right. Where like at the end of it, you're like, oh, that's I nothing didn't even what see I thought that. Of. They're all dead. Is it dead? The Mark Wahlberg one. I I fucking love that one. I didn't know that was him until I saw the credits, and I was like. No, not Mark Wahlberg. It was Danny Wal Donnie Wahlberg. Was... No, I'm talking about the Mark Wahlberg M. Night Shyamalan movie. Oh! The one where, like, people keep dying and they don't know why. Oh, yeah, like the I'm like, thing? how did you not know that was Sorry. Mark Wahlberg? No. You're like, ah, until the Donnie... very end. I watched the whole two-hour movie in which Mark Wahlberg starred, and I didn't know but it was no, Mark Wahlberg. In Sixth Sense. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie Wahlberg was the, the patient yeah, who... Yeah, the, the like, the... druggie. Yeah. Hang in tough. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Hang in tough. Bow, bow. Bum, bum. Beer, beer, beer. Who gave us the yeah. beer? Who gave us the beer? Jen Gator <laughs> and Pete Greenfield! From New Jersey, which is where Ken Jacobus lives. A very, really big house because he he's needs a lot, big man. Yes, he needs room. Large to man needs a large a house. Of big, yes. It's like Jack and the Beanstalk, but the giant and doesn't live up in a beanstalk and lives on a home on the ground. No cows, no magic beans. Hey, Ken. <laughs> It's the Jersey Shore music. Is it? Yeah. What's the, that's the dance they do? The, the piss bump? Yeah. All right. Fucking Carlo, the situation, Piscatello. What are you drinking? This is the River Horse Special Ale. It's an American amber. And it's from, uh, where's it from? Where's it from? River Horse Brewing Company. How about you? Cricket Hill Brewery. Jersey Summer Breakfast Ale. Breakfast Ale? Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's noon, but whatever. Whoa! You want to taste it? You get it? Delicious! Once it hits your lips. <gasps> this is really good. So the River Horse, uh, River Horse Special Ale. A little hoppier than I would normally like, but for some reason I like it. Heap. That's the... Heap pop. That's what, another name for River Horse. Heap pop anonymous? No. But a, how about a Summer Blonde Ale? You want to drink that one a little bit slower? Oh! Look at that. I got a lady That hippo. River Horse has, uh, has lipstick on her little lady lips. So uh, Jen and Pete, thank you very much for the beer. I really appreciate it. Because you know that everybody from New Jersey, that's... You keep flinching. You this is like the fourth time you've Did flinched. I? Yeah, I didn't notice. You're in a safe place. Am I in a safe place? You're in a safe there place. There it is. We just come here. Oh, we ran five miles. This is this is a little stinkier than usual. Oh, there. Oh, you're doing the llama thing. You're doing the llama thing. <laughs> that was a great picture, by the way. You're a great picture. Thanks, buddy. You Be make great. me want to moan, Elisa. Is a picture joke.
And a sex joke. Kind of. Before we break into other stuff, we need to discuss the size of our babe. Our 17-week-old baby. Yeah, 17 weeks. Man, I remember when it was this big, and now it's like this big. Yeah. Just the other day, it was a kumquat. The size of a pear. A pear. Yeah. Our baby is growing a pear. Have you heard about the medieval torture device called a pear? No. Uh, I saw it in the Museum of Torture at Medieval Times. Not a good Do it on me. No, I would never do that. Come on. No. Fifty Shades of Grey me. It's a piece of iron, right, that's got a rod down the center, and it looks like it's in the shape of a pear. Oh, yeah. You put it in an Uh, orifice. Oh, any orifice? And then you rotate the screw, and it widens it out. yeah. I don't think... If you saw how wide it went, you wouldn't be that excited. I'm imagining probably wider than you gave a demonstration of. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Why do we do this? After, you can, like, do this. But we just do this. I'm glad you told me about that. Mm-hmm. Got stuff to think about later. Look it up. Got some you. stuff to try and build, you know what I mean? If you don't, don't make it out of wood. It's a little splintery. Oh, God. What are Yo, you, come disgusting? On. Make cold. it out of wood? What? God. You uh, fucking degenerate. Okay. James Loveland. Yeah, this is... Oh, man. James Post, E. Loveland. Post of the week. We are 100% down for the cause in which you yes. are championing, which is putting your brother, who uh, just passed, yep. uh, putting his SWAT number on your world's toughest mother bib. Headquarters. I hope that works out, man. Seriously. Make this happen, please. You make a lot of people happy. Yeah. Uh, because at this point, we're all rooting for this to happen. One, four, three, three for Mark Loveland. That's Loveland right. strong. Headquarters! There you go. That'll, that'll, that'll Whenever I do this, I feel like I'm closer to whoever I'm trying to talk to and that they're listening more. Your iPhone. They're listening the most. You're closer to your iPhone. Loveland strong. Loveland strong. Yeah. We're all about it. Uh, Mark. Rest in peace. Yes. Pancreatic cancer is a bitch. Yeah. Absolute bitch. Fuck cancer to right. the absolute utmost. Darth Vader. Right? How which, crazy is that? May the fourth be with you. It was a couple days ago. Yeah, I had to say it. I yeah. had to say it. Yeah, no. Look, no, rub no, no. on my fist balls and suck on my finger shaft. What about Darth Vader? This is a big thing. Let's not ruin it with our petty arguments. Something tells me he'll appreciate it. He- <laughs> Darth Vader right. just came like two days ago. Yeah. Uh, made his one year anniversary past his life expectancy date. Can you imagine that? A year past that. Yeah, and then you're like, hey, how about this? And how going about strong. This? How about so, this? man, force is strong in that one. Fucking no shit, right? So I, I hate to do this, only because she's been on the show more times than anybody. Hannah Copper was saying that she had a special announcement she wanted to make, but we can't. We, so we need to, we need to summon her. As we always do. Right. People are probably like, fucking Hannah Copper again. Yeah. I know. It's just like, whatever. When you got magic, you you fucking put on a show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, Uh, are we like Siegfried and Roy? Pretty much. That's awesome. Only none of us got got bit. Yeah, I was going to say, you're the one that got bit. bit. That's why I have my... Now I I only take you from behind because I can't see that This is like slowly being strangled by a really weak person. Like a midget with the flu just hanging on behind you. Totally. I'm going to get you, Carlo. Great. That's pretty good, Vern Troyer. <laughs> Let's just get around and get her off. So we'll uh, do the. Do you remember? <laughs> I meant the show. I can't even make a joke about that. <laughs> I just have to point out this is what you said. That's awesome. Sometimes that's going to be my new. Let's get you on and get you off, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let's just. Were you in the Navy? <laughs> no. Because you're my kind of seaman. That's... <laughs> Shall we do it? Yeah. Do you remember how to do it? Hannah Copper three times, right? Correct. Just like just like uh, Beetlejuice or uh, Candyman. Or, hey, or Prince. Hey, oh, does it work with Prince? Dude's a freak. He wouldn't stop playing Cream, and he got on top. I don't want to talk about it. On the count of seven. Okay. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven. seven. Hannah Copper. Hannah Copper. Justin yeah. Ziderweg. Oh. I did it! Oh. You are clearly excited to be on this show. There we go. Would you like a beer? Sure, just, I would love to well, partake. We don't have any. Okay, thanks. Sorry. It's okay. Can I just have the last sip? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That thing is fucking massive. 
You can put your hand back nope. on my leg. I worked uh, for a moving company, and uh, one of the guys that I worked with, he would always get the window seat so that he could, when we were driving, he could duck down and make it look like the two dudes were next to each other. And he would just do this, and they'd be like, come on, bro, fucking stop it. And they couldn't go anywhere. And it's a moving company, so they're all fucking burly dudes, not right. like you guys, you know? Yep. I'm glad that we have Justin here for this next bit because I feel like Justin will have some valuable input for this bad man in JAMA. Charles Hoppert was yeah. remarking about how he missed uh, his trail group coming across some uh, folkies doing the nasty in the middle of the trail. In the middle of the trail. I saw two big fat naked bikers in the woods off 17 having sex. How am I supposed to chip? Without going on, Doug. And he was wondering, what do you do? Good demo. You, you know should teach sex ed, but not to children. You shouldn't. Oh, yeah, right. we should keep you far away from that. You know what you In accordance to Megan's law, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should have walked right up onto him like there's nothing wrong and been like, do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> Bonus, if they do, because then he gets yourself some sex mustard. What would you do? Piss. Actually, what I would do, first off, I mean, if I was the people doing it, or if I was the person coming up. That was person. never part of the question, oh. what would you do if you were I, the people doing it? Because if I was the people doing it, I'd just go up off the trail a little bit. That's all I'd do. That just takes saying. the excitement away. Never yeah. what oh. would you do if you were the one boning? I'd be boning. What I, I literally, I just keep, I'd run by and I might yell like, a, yeah, get a guy. Why just the guy? Why can't the girl get Yeah, it? I just keep. Yeah. Good job, guys. You should critique their form. Actually, I do the Maddie response, which would be what? You're doing a great job out yes, there. We're all proud of you. We're all That's proud right. of the results. Yep. What would you do, Justin? I'd take a picture. Justin put that shit on yeah, Instagram in I like would. five seconds. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag trail moment. Trail moaning. Ooh. Trail boning. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Ooh. that the shoes they'd be wearing would be the Hoka? Solomon Speedcocks. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, that's good. Yeah, that is. That is good. good. Bring Kevin Chow back. Seriously. Seriously. At least he fit our affirmative action bill. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the Dutch dynamo. <laughs> exactly. I do have a big butt. I Justin. Justin, you no. can't say that. Justin. You know, you, Carlo knows what you did. <laughs> you gotta show that shit off. Stand up. Come okay. on. All right, fine. Man, what are we doing right now? No, whoa, 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 whoa. no! Come on, grab one. No, I'm not grab grabbing it. Carlo, anything. grab it. I'm, I'm not. Rubbing. Carlo, uh, grab it. It's a good thing we don't have an HR department. <laughs> hey, who needs to open their beer? Go ahead. We couldn't have. Oh, jeez. I'm sailing. Oh, wait, what? Nothing. I hate sticks. I. You know what? I'm glad you say that. Because I feel the exact same way. Do you want do one of my least favorite bands? Story behind both? why I hate sticks. I feel like you've told me, but not on camera. S T Y X. Right. Fucking shut Mr. up, Robot. Dennis DeYoung. Come, I'm show. coming for you, Hashtag. Dennis DeYoung, Tommy right. Shaw, and the third guy that wasn't Bush. important enough no, to no, remember. No, Tommy Shaw's okay. Tommy, no, he's, he's not. He's a local guy. He's a Bay Area guy. We That's fuck fine. Fuck fuck That's good. I hate right? lots of Bay Area people. You do. I'm sure I do. Attaboy. No one will ever know why I hate sticks. There's a real story behind it. Can we I'm gonna that? hold on. To I that. think it needs to be. It needs to be told, but maybe not this episode. Yeah. Do your right. own episode about it, maybe. I'm the one that does the editing. Whew. That's a good point. It's definitely a long, not short. What about you, Justin? Well, I uh, really any dick will do, just as long as it's you know in and around my face. I'd prefer Josh's, but. You know, who <laughs> wouldn't prefer Josh's? Am I right? Am I right? Am I so right? I'm right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Daniel Steidem. Yeah, seriously. Go ahead. Tennessee. Just because... Take me to another place. Take me to I love a that better song. land. Danny, yeah. you're the only 10 I see. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish I was doing Tough Mudder, Tennessee. Me too. I wish I could go on the Mile High Club obstacle there at the base camp. You can. Look, you and I, we just get together. Mm -hmm. We do what we do, butter ourselves up so that we're nice and oily. No, 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 Get no, no, no. naked. I think what? You've, I think you've got it wrong. An obstacle at the event. My obstacle is trying to undress your pantaloons, and I win every time. No. I have conquered that obstacle no, fucking he, countless times. He has not. Yeah, and you've given me headband. No. See? Here we go. <laughs> Allison Ty. What do you tell yourself to keep going when you're on, say, uh, World's Toughest as yourself, since mm -hmm. you've completed yeah. World's Toughest? Yeah, or if you're just doing, doing, like, a regular Tough Mudder, yeah. what would you tell yourself when it gets hard? Hmm. What? I didn't say anything that time. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> <laughs> do I tell you my... being so dirty, Carlo. 
Look at me. It's all me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Fucking, you make me uncomfortable. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How do you think I feel sitting in the middle? Probably pretty fucking awesome. You should right feel now. pretty great right I now. Do. I do. I smell nice like sleep. victory. Back to the point. What do you tell yourself? What it's you guys... easy. And you, you guys both know this. And you can say this uh, at the same time. If it were easy, easy. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, be special. special. And, and yeah. seriously, it's a nice little reminder when I'm feeling like, fuck yeah. this. It, well, this is what makes it special. That's my go-to mantra. What's yours? Uh, actually, since I haven't done it, Worlds, what I do actually is... But you've been in tough situations yes. before. What I, what, right now, especially as I'm training for it, when it gets difficult, I think... What would is, Josh do? No, I think to myself, hey, if this is... Because if I think about, like, oh, I better stop and, like, walk for a while, whatever, I think, if this is Worlds, would you stop? And walk right now? Probably. Again, keep going. No, no, Because you have 24 hours. That's true. I have plenty of time. I'd be like, yeah. oh, I got plenty of time. You'd probably be like, yeah, I should walk. I should I'm walk. here for a long time. Yeah. If you're at like mile, if I'm running, I'm like at mile seven and I want to stop and walk. I'm like, you're at mile seven and you want to stop and walk. What are you going to do at Worlds when you get to mile 30? Yeah. What do you tell yourself, Justin? I think of all the people that have disabilities or oh, limbs nice. missing and I see them on the course and I wonder what am like, I gonna bitch about? Right, right. What, what do yeah. I have to really be like, oh, I'm tired. I've got two arms and two legs. My feet hurt. I'm glad I have feet to hurt. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. I'll that's do a, respect yeah. to you folks. That's yes. very good. Yeah. yeah. Congratulatory kiss. Yeah. Oh, we're not on the camera. People we'll actually do Ew. the stuff that I say. Uh -huh. Like, if I were to be like, oh, let's just make out for the show, you'd be like, all, all right. right. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> camera's not on, right? Oh, mm -hmm. and, and this is my this is my special move when I'm making out. And if I can work at any time, why I just stare? No, if you stare at each other, that's wrong. Uh, you I don't know, close your know, eyes. I, you embrace it when you're uh, closing your eyes. I open my eyes. I lock. I lock. This is quality show right I'm here. I'm starting to drool. You're a great buffer. What are what's? Oh, I was thinking of a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? That's a hard job. Yeah. <laughs> Boner. Hannah, you clearly have the best remedy for getting over being sick. You know what? And we just wanted to share that with Chris Arondo, who we hear is also sick. Screw Western. And... Screw Western medicine. Yeah. You exactly. To, what you need is a piss and cock show marathon. Maybe some Nyquil too, but whatever. It, yeah. You get bored. Like some some Sudafed? some cocaine. Boo. Yeah, they're like, did you know that's how ketchup started? Was medicine? I Can you imagine know. like being like, hey doc, I uh, Blood I've got scabies or whatever people used to get all the put time. Some, put some leeches on you. Yeah, they're like, here's some ketchup. Ketchup used to be like one of those like cart elixirs where they're like, step right up. Oh, like a like a take this oil. red, yeah, and be like, oh my god, is it tomatoes. Was it Heinz or Hunts? <laughs> Mandy Baskin. Mm -hmm. That article about ice not helping. Uh, yeah. Um, I completely disagree. Yeah, I think the sources of that article were a little bit on the sketchy side. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling a lot better already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we went for a run this morning. and We did? Oh, man, my hips are instantly feeling a lot looser. Yeah. My, uh, my hip flexors in particular are feeling really good. My IT bands are loose. I completely disagree with that article. Yeah. Because this shit is working hard. The ISIS? Yeah. I'll be honest, it took me about 35 seconds to figure out why we were tying in this in. But I like them when they're slow. <laughs> Biatch. Fucking thug life, good oh, lord. That's right. Did you see the tattoo across my belly that I've got? Yeah. yeah. So I, I drew it more on the More says pug life. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Like, I love oh, dogs. It, it, that's exactly it. Says Speaking pit, of. Pit bull life, yeah. Perfect segue. Go, baby. I don't know how to say this name, but I'm probably going to nail it. Sejorn so, Savanason. That, uh, uh, yeah, great shirt. Fucking tough mutt. Mutt. -er. I, love, I want that shirt. Yeah. I want tough that. mutt. -er. I get that. Yeah, I get With it. two T's. Yes, like a dog. Yeah. yeah I get it. Yeah, yeah, you do get it. I do get it. This guy gets it. I like dogs. J.D. Allen hitting us with the Southwest link. Yeah. Going on sale oh. starting, what was the date? Big, do you remember uh, the 15th? off the top of your head? May mm -hmm. 17th? Yeah. 15th? Yes. You're a sale guy. The, uh, you would know. Yeah. yeah. Justin would know. Ding. <laughs> My so buddy, here, my buddy, Twin Trisha. wherever I go, he goes, my buddy. Remember that toy? My buddy, teach him everything you that probably, I know. You my buddy and me did. like to climb up a tree. He my buddy and me, he's the best friend we could be. That's the actual jingle. My nephew had one. 
No liar. You no, have one. No, I was too old for that. Yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Barry Manilow wrote the band aid jingle. I'm stuck. Oh, Are you serious? Band-Aid brands because Band-Aid stuck on me. Is that like some internet fucking bullshit or is that real? No, that's real. Mm -hmm. You wrote a few other jingles where you're like, Barry Manilow yeah. wrote that? I wrote a jingle once, but I can't tell you because it's not very clean. Oh, yeah, that's because that's jangle. what we're trying that's a to do. jangle. Did you see Jamie Foxx's balls in Django Unchained? I haven't seen the movie yet, no. We've been told that, or at least this was a long running theme in the group of we need more women. Shut up. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy's angry. Wait, we've been told what now? Daddy's so angry. Wait, shh. It's okay. What are we doing? Shut up! Please what were you saying? Stop! That's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like it. It's all okay. good. Yeah, good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yeah. Just do as he says, Justin. Just do as he says. We need more women. Don't we all? Apparently that's a thing. Women in OCR. Yeah. In yeah. General. At Worlds this year. We would like to have more women participants. That's than in, cool. Than in years past. I think that'd be great. I think it's good for the sport. You have to have it. I think it's important. How do we recruit? Hey, ladies. What okay. are you doing November 14th? Uh, I'm running the World's Toughest Matter. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to ladies. Oh, yeah. got it. I'm talking, um, to, I'm talking yeah. to all the ladies out there. Tell your friends. Seriously, get them out. I think it'll be great. November 14th, Ladies Day. How is it free? Drinks on Carlo. Uh, you heard it here. That's not true. No matter what he say, he gets bashful. He's like, oh, I don't want people to think, well, like, I'm that guy. But, like, he'll pay for all of your drinks, ladies. Mm -hmm. Every single one of you. Probably won't. All of them. No. The whole weekend. No, that's not even close to true. Steven think. Taylor. Oh, I loved you in fucking Aerosmith. Oh, that's Steven Taylor. Dude looks like a lady was written about David Lee Roth. I know. Fun fact. We talked about that. Yeah. Steven Taylor assaulted Staples and went in there and put Tough Mudder yeah. advertisements on all of their tablets and stuff. so good. That's fucking genius. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Uh, that's way better than what I put on there. Um, should I show him a picture or do you think I'd get in trouble with the law? Jared Franklin, you're asking what kind of vest to get your mom for training? Oh, duh. How hard is this? Yeah. A Lexus vest. It's Mother's Day. We talked about that yeah. last week. You get a Lexus vest. Yep. And it carries a Lexus in the pocket. This is this is like, what is it? What an is it a car? You're telling him to buy his a car, a car vest. Try to keep okay. up, Justin. Yeah. To, Justin like a vest with a car in it. But, I mean, it's not like just buying a car. Like, no. Yeah. This guy. Seriously. Fucking, God, fucking sorry. Justin? Yeah. What happened to you on Facebook? Where'd you go? What? Hey. Where did you, where you been, Justin? I was consumed. I think you can see by my post. Yeah, a little bit much. We he, love your food and yeah, your workouts. And yeah. Cisco. And, and Cisco, Cisco for life, hashtag boss mode. Rising grind, rise and grind. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I like the grind, but the rise was boring. Ooh. I was too consumed by Facebook. This is why. Keep talking. I yeah. was off, Sounds I am off Facebook. Because of what Carlo's doing? What? Yeah. Just ignoring yeah. responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there. Uh, yeah. Now We're I'm done. glad that we We're got that done. out there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stab your fucking But I'll see you guys out. soon. Yeah, you almost They're going to fight right yeah. now, so we'll just, yeah. Fight boner! Get that off me! <laughs> I've noticed that the last few episodes you've really <laughs> taken a joy in... Gutting you? Yeah, like going over the various ways you've clearly thought about how you're going to murder me. It's not just you. I'm thinking about just ending people in general. Not making things better. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Collins. Yeah, talk I to me, Greg. fucking love Freddie Mercury. Oh, my God. We so, we've talked about this, right? To live forever. Yes. Who wants to right. when it comes live forever? <laughs> yeah. oh, nice. When it comes to Forever! Mike Barefoot Cook, I just wanted to note that I fucking want a bacon donut so bad. Um, that's it. We don't even have to talk about I've it. I've had one. Downtown LA. Oh, I've had several. Can I ask you something? Oh boy, I don't know. Can you? Fine. No, it's kind is of it, appropriate. It, so we were at the Giants game yesterday and they had bacon wrapped wieners. Oh. Hot, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Let's clarify that. I was curious how it tastes. It was salty. Mm, I imagine it would be salty. Okay. There's enough sodium in that to kill a small army. All of the penis references in that make me smile. Do you swallow or spit? <laughs> Jay Evans. Jay. Whatever it takes to get the Welcome to the crazy. Seriously. 
That's yeah. it. Jay Evans is also on top of the fucking hotel game. It's like, yeah. give them a call in advance because they'll be like, oh, your room was $60. And then after this fee, this fee, this fee, and this fee, it's 387 Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's like your cell phone bill. It's like, why is there a 911 charge on my, what's the 911 fee on my cell phone that costs $17 a month? I'm like, I brought my change from home, <laughs> nickels and dimes they all like over the place. There oh, it oh, is. Oh, did I get mm. you in your eye? I'm sorry. Yeah. Congratulations to Chris Brown. Oh, right. Uh, We're we'll finishing his first 50 50K trail. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. some work. Hell yeah. Oh that's my work. God, that's some work. I would love to, uh, that's something that I want to uh, put in the books for myself is a long distance trail run like that. Yeah. Yeah. Did he well, first beat I had to do my first marathon. Oh, I he didn't. I didn't see. No, that I mean first. after. Did he beat anybody? Chris like, Brown. Like physically. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Community questions. Ow. Why can't Mike Cook quit us? Because two reasons. Oh. That do it. And this. And it's Del Mar and Jack Twist here. Oh yeah. We're just too good to quit. That's what I'm saying. Andrew Eckberg wants to know how many attempts it's going to take him to do the one-armed mm. King of Swingers. It'll never happen. I am a believer. Fucking. He said, he said, no, if you were a you cloud, gotta, you would seek out parades no, to rain on. No. Okay. I Andrew, scratch my arm. if you do that, I'll pay for one entry fee. So if, if, so if, if, if Andrew... So he's one-handed swinger. He yeah. needs to go and hit, and with hit the... the hit but the then bit. what are you paying an entry fee for? For him? A tough mutter. So one day. If he grabs his left hand, swings one-handed, and hits it with his right, that's yes. success. That's awesome. We you got two supporters in you here. This guy hates you, he said, Andrew. Mm -hmm. That's exactly yeah, so. that's how the words came out, right? Who gets more mileage at tough World Service Mutter, you or me? I think it doesn't matter, to be honest. It doesn't matter. I would, if I were to really put it out there, though, I think you probably would. Think so? Yeah. yeah. I'm a Clydesdale. I'm, uh -huh. I, you know what I mean? Sweet. Like, yeah, you're, and you're, you're a pony. Charles Harper wants to know, what do I do? Like... As for a living. So, Charles. have you seen Magic Mike? <laughs> Don't talk about Saturdays. Yeah, no, he, Channing Tatum, he's he's not him. He's the guy DJing yeah, for much. the strippers. Uh, but the it. day shift. I actually, I did used to work, like, I used to work in the DJ booth at a nightclub. Running, running the lights on the night's floor. On, on the dance floor. Really? I swear to God, I did. Yeah, I ran the lights on the dance floor uh, at, a, at a downtown Santa Rosa nightclub for about two years. I provide engineering support. To a night shift at a manufacturing plant, sending money Tuesday every other Wednesday, and then every morning from 8.05 to 8.35, I'm a yard duty on the playground at the middle school. That's what I do. Those are my jobs. Who is shaving for Will's Toughest Mutter, and who is letting... I'm shaving. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. like facial hair very much myself. I'm shaving probably the day I leave for Will's Toughest Mutter. I might you have, like it when it tickles you. I might have some stubble. I'm ignoring that. See his face? It's a face of disappointment. Breaking news. Chris Anaconda Aranda fucking shaved. That's who's shaving for World Stuff is Mutter. He said the beard will be back, but I'm way less hard now. He was hiding Aaron Hernandez under that beard. Uh, I said it on the Facebook post, and I'll say it here. If looks could kill. <laughs> Am I right? Because <laughs> Aaron Hernandez is a murderer. That's, that's not good. It's, it's not good at all. Aranda, you better grow that shit back. Me and your fiance just are turned off now. I might have some stubble the day of the event, but I am not growing uh, any kind of a beard. I won't be driving. I'll definitely have a beard. Here's the thing. You'll be clean shaven, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I am. I I am either really close to cutting my hair, or it's gonna Ooh. be another year or two. I don't know. It'll One day it's just gonna be cut off. Today's the day I cut my hair. Or I'm just never gonna have that feeling. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm I'm most likely gonna have my hair for world's toughest. Um I won't. I'll definitely have my face muff. I'm debating if I'm a mohawk or not. Wesley, great question about when does a helping hand cross over into inappropriate touching? Whenever uh, you know, like semen's involved. Wesley should ask. He went like knuckle deep into my butt. Ah, I got him! What? You told me it meant nothing, right? Hey, Maddie versus Amelia, who wins the Pop-Tart on a Pole Challenge? What does that mean? I'm just going to say Amelia. Amelia. Yeah, yeah, good job. Good. What bird has the best chance of winning World's Toughest Mutter? Not a Seahawk. A Seahawk. Not a Seahawk. Mm -hmm. No. No. Yeah. No. It's a Seahawk. Some bird that's not a fucking Seahawk. Mm -hmm. That's what. 
Well, that bird got shot down by the Patriots. That's what I'm saying. That's what happened. With their, with their musket. Yeah. Yeah, because they're a bunch of dirty, lying cheats. Oh, here eh. we go. Keith Allen wants to know, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? You know what that song's about? I don't. That song is about a guy who comes across his wife drowning mm -hmm. and doesn't do anything. I didn't know that. And then Phil <clears throat> Collins comes up upon that guy who saw his wife drowning. Oh. And in that moment, he decides not to do anything. And he's like, that's what you fucking get for not rescuing my wife when she was drowning. So yes, I feel it. Who wins a fight between a grilled cheese sandwich and a taco? Grilled cheese in one corner, taco in the other corner. You and I will most likely be referees of this fight, yep. right? So as soon as the bell rings, what's gonna happen? Duh, you're gonna eat the grilled cheese, I'm gonna eat the taco. We yep. both win. And then we hug it out. We hug it out. full bellies. Yeah, that's what yeah. happens. What actor or actress would you most like to run a Tough Mudder alongside? Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, because he's fucking awesome and he could probably be whatever he wants, Gary Oldman. Maybe Either Sasha Bar Baron Cohen oh, or he... Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. You get a lot of a lot of attention with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, well, oh. I'd, I'd probably get even more with Sasha Baron Cohen. That's a good point. Who would you run with? I would do Adam Sandler, and for a female, oh, good point. it would be Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, she's fit. Mm -hmm. She is. Yeah. More ways than one. Of all the beers that we've been have been sent to us on the Piss and Cock Show, what has been your favorite? Hands, Hands down, right? yeah, easily came to mind right away when I read that question. Yeah, the dark chocolate beer by uh, that was Larry, that was surprisingly yeah, good. I didn't think that oh would be good God. at all. I fucking loved that. That was really beer. good. I can't answer it because I, I don't I don't have one that was like over the top that much better than the others. To be honest, you don't remember. No, nah, that's probably true too. If we could have any celebrity guest star, any celebrity of any level, who would we have? That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, the defaults aside, there's so many people. Like Brady, right. love to have Brady on the oh, show. Oh, Brady, right? Love to have Jason Rulo on the show. Amelia love to have Boone? Coach Kyle on the show. Amelia, Amelia Boone. Boone, love to have Amelia Boone on yeah. the show. So who would you go? Gary Oldman? Probably Gary Oldman. That'd be, that'd be your guy. And I'd just be staring at him the whole time and be like, you're a great actor. You're amazing. I, I loved you in The Professional. I loved you in uh, True Romance. I Anything loved you in you've ever everything you've ever done. When you, yeah. Even when you guest starred on Friends. You know who else guest starred on Friends? Sean Corvell. Sean Corvell. Goddamn right. Sir, you here to return those pants? <laughs> no, these are my pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> How can I help you? Well, um, do you have a Santa outfit left? Two days before Christmas? Sorry, man. Okay, look, do you, do you have anything uh, Christmassy? I promised my son, and I, I really don't want to disappoint him. Um, Come on, I, you gotta have something. <laughs> I'm the holiday armadillo! <laughs> you know who I would want on the show? Tell and me. This is, there's so many people that once we're done, Jennifer I'm gonna be like, oh fuck, this is who I would. Right. But right now, I just got done watching his stand-up special, uh, one of them, and I've loved this guy forever. I think he'd be, I would, like, you would hate it. It would be him and I just I fucking be? making you so uncomfortable. I don't think so. Who Jim Norton. Oh, he's good. I love Jim Norton. I can hold my own with Jim Norton, I think. And him and I would probably go next level, and... You have no faith in my ability to go next level, pal. I was going to put a gun to your head <laughs> That's today. true, but you know what you didn't do? Do that. I didn't. I respect you, Les. I have something. Ooh. Yeah. Here it's we go. a serious thing. Okay. okay. Justin. We had invaded your country, I think, at one point. When did you lose... Your world's toughest mutter headband. Oof. Oh, that's right. What a loser. Why'd you do that? Yeah. Four months. Four months? Yeah. Four months ago. Mutter hen. Oh, she a, made note of this. What a sweetheart. And she messaged me. Mm. And she said, hey, Justin's missing his headband, correct? And I said, yes. Mm. And she said, let me get in touch with headquarters and the powers that be, and let's get him one. She's a goddamn magician. Wow. She sent me your replacement world's toughest mutter headband. I will never lose it again. You're goddamn right. Now, here's the thing is that our stipulation was that we film giving it to you. Yeah. Freshly in its package. <laughs> package! <laughs> package joke. Look at me. Yes. I fucking. This well, headband no, no. will never, ever be lost a fucking <laughs> again. 
asshole of this guy. What Don't a, lose this. What a dick. Mike Wacker almost lost his. Yeah. We would have been slapping your face too, Wacker. We would have been slappy whacking your face. There it is. Would that be whacking off? No. That'd be whacking. See? We would have whacked off Mike no. Wacker. Don't you ever lose this ever, okay. ever again. That's true though. Don't yes, I won't. I won't. Miter is <laughs> looking like a dork Thank the you. whole time. I appreciate it. Okay. I really do. Thank you. you the best not. part about this whole thing is now you're going to go home and find it. Yeah. That's it. Week, week 17. 17 Missing right. Cox in the books. Group kiss? No. Fuck. Yeah. No. You what? Fucking you fucking fuddy dude. Cheersies. Cheersies. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Cheersies. No. Come on, Justin. Cheersies. No, guys. No. Cheersies. That's not all right. No. Yeah. No, Fuck no. you, Carlo. No. no. <laughs>